guys, welcome back and welcome to Amsterdam. We're here to celebrate my birthday and it's my first time here so I'm super excited to see what it's like. We actually had to come here a night early because our airline was having a strike so we stayed at a different hotel last night and we're about to check out and go to the new hotel. We just checked into the new hotel so I'll give you guys a tour. This one is totally different than the one we had before. So you walk in and here's what the room looks like. Very sleek, very modern and the view is insane. It looks out onto the square and the bathroom i think this opens up so the bathtub is open to the view and bedroom we've just been walking around and we're just heading out for lunch Baby, you give me ice and fire. you're giving me wind and rain our lunch has been amazing, but I'm quite tired, so I've been chugging this green tea. For like 10 years now, I've dreamt of coming to Amsterdam so I can try a fresh waffle, and I'm on the hunt for that now. Back at the hotel, and I'm so tired. We've done so much walking, and I never found a waffle. I thought they would be everywhere in Amsterdam, but I haven't seen a single one, so that's gonna be on the agenda tomorrow. And it's currently five so i'm gonna take a nap and then get ready for the evening i want to do a dyson blowout so i'm gonna wet it and then do the dyson outfit of the night i'm wearing these sparkly micro shorts let's go it's a stunning night we're actually just walking over to the restaurant And today's my birthday. We just had breakfast at the hotel and our plan for the day is to just walk around, see what Amsterdam is like, get some lunch, definitely get a street waffle. Just wearing these boots and the white turtleneck. Some kind of butterfly. our lunch spot. Uh, they make homemade pasta. The hotel brought me a happy birthday chocolate. Oh my goodness, it's a whole white chocolate bar that says happy birthday. It's good. It's about 4 p.m. We're gonna take like a one hour nap. Then we're gonna go to the hotel spa and this hotel is very luxurious. So I'm really excited to see what it's like. You wanna try? Yeah. It's good. Heading to the spa. I'm really cold, so I'm excited to feel some heat. There's a steam room, sauna, and a relaxing area, some lounge chairs. So we booked a spa time and we both assumed it would be a spa open for everyone, but it's quite small. There's no one else here and there's only seating for two. So I think that it's like a private spa experience. So we're gonna enjoy our private spa. We don't know the right way to go to the spa, so we're going through the lobby, packed with people in evening wear. And I'm just in my robe. All right, we're just heading out for dinner and we have to rush out, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit. Bring this long dress. I was filming last night for Instagram Reels, so I didn't really take any clips here uh, just to be in the moment more. We're heading for breakfast and it's really good, so I wanna take you with me. Let's go. <laughs> If there's tiramisu, I'm getting it. I don't care if it's breakfast. We were just having our champagne tiramisu, but we realized we have to check out in 15 minutes. So we're gonna pack really quick and go into town. Apparently fries are a big thing here. They're on like every street. Uh, that's what I thought street waffles would be. I thought those would be everywhere, but I haven't even seen those. I got some with Belgian mayonnaise. I wanted to try something more local. We thought about going to a museum today, but we just wanted to walk around instead. And I got this ring. I asked the guy working there if he likes the Belgian mayo, because he looked a bit confused when I ordered it. He just said it tastes sour and I was like, Okay, <laughs> I'll get it. And it's, it's pretty good.
as you can see, I'm back in Helsinki. I wanted to thank you guys for watching and I wanted to give a few thoughts on Amsterdam because it was my first time there. Amsterdam was so much bigger than I thought it would be. Some areas felt exactly like Prague and other areas like by the canals felt very London-like, but it was a super quick trip. I would have loved to have more time to go to some museums, uh, but we just wanted to walk around instead and get a feel for the city uh, instead of be inside in a museum. But if I go again, I definitely want to go to the Van Gogh Museum. Uh, we saw the Anne Frank Museum from the outside, but I'd love to go in there too. But it was a super fun trip. Uh, I'm so glad I've like checked that off the list of places I want to go to because it's been at the top for at least four years now. Other places I really want to visit, I want to go to London with my boyfriend. Tokyo's been at the top of my list for so long. I'd love to go somewhere really beachy, like closer to the equator, tropical vibes, um, Singapore, all those places are at the top of my list. I hope you guys liked following along and I'll catch you guys next week.